Hey, what's up? It's GC Kinsey, and this is my Loki of Jotunheim drag makeup tutorial. Just a heads up before we get started, when I filmed this, I had just woken up to find a lot more snow on the ground than what was forecasted the night before, so I was rushing to get into my Loki makeup for a very much unplanned photo shoot before the snow could start melting. So that means you'll see things in the video like photos of the products because I forgot to film myself holding them up, or my terrible bed head before I put on my wig. But the application process is all still there, and that's what matters, so let's get into it. I'm starting out with a glued down and covered brow, and you can check out my Drag Queen Basics tutorial for details on how to do this before you start your full makeup. For the foundation, I'm using Miron Star Blend Cake Makeup in blue, and this is a water-based body paint. So the way it works is you get the bristles of your application brush wet, and then kind of dab that into the cake, and then apply the makeup to your skin. I applied all of my body paint off camera, and so now you can see me doing this on my face. And I use a smaller brush to get into any little detailed areas like the nooks and crannies of my ears. Once that's done, I'm taking some baby powder and setting that foundation. And of course, you can use any setting powder you have on hand, including actual theatrical makeup setting powder. I'm just using baby powder because I'm extremely cheap. Now I'm going in with the Ben Nye Cream Color Foundation in Sky Blue. And this is a color match to that Meron cake makeup in blue that I used earlier. But I like to apply this to my face because I like to have a cream base to work on for my drag look. It just helps a lot more with blending things like my highlight and contour. I'm using the Ben Nye Cream Color Foundation this time in white to do my highlight. So first I'm going in under the eyes onto the cheeks. Then onto the forehead. The bridge of the nose all the way down to the tip, the chin, and finally the jaw. Next I'm using the Maybelline Expert Wear Eyeshadow Quad, and I'm using these first two shades, the blue and the black, to do my contour. So you can see me starting to come in and contour my cheekbones with this approach. And the reason that I like to use powder for my contour instead of cream like I did for my highlight is because when you're doing dark shadows like this, you can keep making that darker and darker by layering on more powder. Once I have contoured my cheekbones, I come back in and re-highlight my jaw a little bit just to make sure it still stands out. Then I'm using a smaller brush to start contouring the bridge of my nose and my brow bone. contouring the jawline by going underneath and pulling that powder down onto my neck. Thank you. 
And then I'm going to contour my forehead, starting at the outside near the temples, and then pulling that color in just a little bit. Once my contour and highlight is done, I'm setting all of that again with some more of my powder. Now I'm coming in with the Ben Nye Cream Color Foundation in black, and I'm using this to start the process of blocking out my new eye shape. So what you see me doing here is creating a new crease. And it's obviously much higher up than where my natural crease sits. That's because with drag makeup, everything is big and bold and exaggerated. So when I do an eye makeup look, I like to make my eyes way bigger and further extended from my natural eyes. So first I'm just kind of defining that shape. And then I'm going to start blending more and more color to give the effect of some eyeshadow coming out of that crease. And then repeating that process on the other side. Next, I'm using the ELF Cosmetics Expert Liquid Liner in Jet Black, and I'm just going at the bottom of that crease and using the eyeliner to refine that line and make it stand out. Then I'm going back in with some of my Ben Nye Cream Foundation in white, and I am highlighting my new eyelid area. And again, you can see this is much higher than where my natural eyelid sits, and that's part of that drag aesthetic. On the other side, you can see I accidentally got some of that on my real eyelid, so I am just blending that away with a sponge. Now I'm going in with more of the Ben Nye Cream Foundation in black, and I'm starting to define my new lash line. And as you can see, this is going to take up a lot of my eyelid. So again, setting up very much higher than my natural lash line, and extending much further out onto the side of my face as well. And I like to start with that cream foundation to block out the basic shape, but then refine it and make it really sharp and crisp with more of my liquid eyeliner. Once the eyeliner is done, I'm going back in with a little bit more of my black cream foundation and dabbing that on top. And that's just because eyeliner likes to crease on lids sometimes, so this is just going to make sure it stays really solid. Next I'm coming in with some NYX liquid liner in white, and I'm using that to extend the whites of my eyes 
as well as create a line of contrast between my upper lash line that I've already defined and the lower lash line I will be defining later. And then repeating that on the other eye. coming back in with my black liquid eyeliner and drawing in my lower lash line. And I'm just following the curve of that white line that I already laid down. The last thing I want to do with my eyeliner is define my brows, and I like to start with just one nice swoop to get the arch. Then I come back in and refine the shape, make some adjustments to it, and get the brow looking like I want it to. So in the case of Loki, I really like to define a nice point at the center, because Loki is a kind of villainous trickster character, so I like to reflect that in the brow. And of course, once the first one is laid down, I follow the cardinal drag rule of sisters not twins, or I like to say, in my case, brothers not twins or siblings not twins. You know, you can gender your brows however you feel most comfortable. But the point is, you want to get them to try to match as well as you can, but it does not have to be perfect, because drag makeup is rarely seen from super close up. It's usually from far away on stage or in photos. So as long as your brows look like they are slightly related, you're in the clear. Now I'm going in with some NYX glitter primer because what would a drag look be without a little shine? And I am using a Q-tip to dab that onto the new eyelid area that I highlighted before. Then while that primer is still tacky, I'm going to take some NYX Shimmer Down Pigment in Platinum, which is a nice silvery shade, and just dab that in place with my fingertip. Then I'm going to repeat that entire process on my other eyelid area, and then go back with some eyeliner and redefine my lash line and my crease where some of that shimmer ended up on top of it. Then I'm taking more of that shimmer on a large blush brush and just dabbing it into the highlight areas of my face. I'm using a smaller brush to get the area under my brows to make sure it's extra thick. Now I'm going to do my lips. So I'm starting with NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Alien, which is a dark charcoal gray black color. And I'm just using that to draw a nice sharp pointy drag lip. Then I'm using NYX Cosmic Metals Lip Cream in Comet's Tail, which is an aqua blue color, and I'm taking that gloss on the center of my bottom lip to create a highlight. Then I'm taking some NYX Glitter Brilliance in Ice, which is an iridescent white shade, 
And while that gloss is nice and tacky, I'm using a Q-tip to dab the glitter into it. So it basically holds it in place just like the primer did on our eyelids. Now I'm going back in and doing a few more details with some eyeliner like my beauty mark and with some eyeshadow like the Jotun markings on my chin. So I'm just using a very tiny brush to apply the markings using the same blue shade from my contour palette that I used before on my cheeks and other areas. And once that's laid down, I'm coming back in with some of my white eyeliner and creating a highlight on top of each marking. To finish off this look, I'm going to apply some Fright Night Lashes on my lower lash line. And these were just left over at Halloween. They're designed for your upper lash line, but for drag, they work great on the bottom. And on top, I am using the classic 301s from Elegant Lashes. I've stacked two pairs of these with glue for an even more dramatic lash. And I'm applying these on my eyelids much higher up than my actual lash line. It's really closer to my crease. And what that does is help the lashes sit out at a much bigger and bolder angle on my eyes. And there we have the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about my process, I would love to hear from you in the comments. And if you have tried this look out yourself, I would love to see photos. If you want to reach out to me on other social media, I'm GC Kinsey across all platforms. And while you're here, feel free to check out some of my other videos. I have more tutorials like this one, as well as cosplay music videos and vlogs about my experiences as a queer person. So make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss anything new. And with that, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.